So I've just spent half an hour like an idiot working out the shape of all these triangles based on the fact that the center point's lower lower than the edge and then I've realized you idiots use a sketch up and it took me about two minutes to do it this way good thing is my maths is all right so I now know that the shape of these these pieces and I know exactly how to cut them out of a sheet of aluminium and when I weld them together I should get a tray with a 40 millimeter depression in the center right there so let's go chop some aluminium okay so I've marked out on another sheet of two millimeter aluminium or aluminum as my friends in the United States would call it so here's part number one and part number two part number two there's two of those the same and part number three which is a triangle so to cut these out they're all straight lines so I'm going to use cordless circular saw I haven't used this particular saw on aluminium previously but I've definitely used uh, a mains powered cordless uh, circular saw and that's worked just fine so these tungsten carbide tip blades chew through aluminium pretty nicely so I'm only cutting straight lines so I'm going to use this now I haven't cut the aperture in the pan because if I'm a little bit out here uh, and when I weld it all together if it doesn't turn out exactly like I designed it it doesn't really matter I can cut the aperture in the pan to suit how these parts end up so that'll be the plan for now so let's start chopping Okay, apart from making a hell of a mess with aluminium chips, which are hot, and they're down my the back as well, uh, this works surprisingly well. I mean, these edges need to be dressed with a file, but pretty straight, so I'm pretty happy with that. I did try and cut this piece number one out here, and I caught the edge of the aluminium with the saw and bent it all up, so I'm going to remark that maybe in this, this part here, which you can't see in this section here and I'll uh, cut it again but otherwise pretty successful using the cordless saw, circular saw okay so here's the four pieces cut out and this is the general idea of how it will form the pan and funnily enough it looks just like the drawing so um, what I'm planning to do is this will be the top of the pan so I think what I'll do is I'll weld I'll just fill it well it's not for quite fill it well almost butt weld uh, from underneath so I don't have any welds on the top so that'll well, I guess the only reason I'm doing that is I think if you've got a big weld bead down here then the coolant and chips and stuff will get hung up in it so this is the reason I'm doing it from the back will it work I don't know we'll find out later on so Time to get welding.
All right, so I've got it basically tacked up and obviously aluminium being such a good conductor of heat moves quite a bit once you start to melt it with a TIG torch. So I've been chasing the warps out of this and I've used a panel beating hammer, stretching hammer, and I've stretched these welds a little bit. Just uh, obviously as they cool, they contract and they shrink and it pulls everything out of shape. So if you hammer them out, uh, you can sometimes relieve some of that. But um, I've put a few marks in the back of here. Obviously, have a holding a dolly underneath here. But, um, can you see some of that? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, it'll be fine for what I want to do. So I'm going to go around and finish well this out. And then obviously the drain is going to sit in here, pointing down that way. Well, that'll be down once it's installed. So we'll weld it all out. And then we can chop an aperture into the top of the lathe bench and this will fit in it and I'll weld it all the way around the inside from underneath as well. So let's keep going.